Scary Mysteries, Twisted News, Missing 10-Year-Old Iowa Girl, and Philadelphia Woman's Remains Found in 1977, Finally Identified. Terrifying cases of true crime and strange events. Every week, Twisted News dives into two mysterious and scary cases currently happening in our world. This week, we'll tackle the shocking update on the disappearance case of a 10-year-old girl from Iowa, as well as the disturbing developments of a Philadelphia woman's remains that were found back in 1977. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number 1. Missing 10-Year-Old Iowa Girl Case Update Aisha Langford, a woman from Davenport, Iowa, had been fervently praying every single day ever since her beloved daughter, Brezia Terrell, vanished in July of 2020. She hoped, of course, that her girl would come back home alive, but every day that passed, the chances of that got smaller and smaller. Her ordeal began on July 9th when Brezia asked to spend the night with her half-brother Detorius in the apartment of his father, Henry Dinkins. It just so happened that Dinkins' name was also included on the Iowa Sex Offender Registry. In the early morning of the next day, the girl was seen on the 2700 block of East 53rd Street. That was the last time she was ever seen Alarmed with the absence of her child, Aisha told the Davenport Police Department to search Credit Island as her daughter was also seen in that area. For the next three days, her family and friends and neighbors joined the police efforts to find her. They handed out leaflets and knocked on doors, unfortunately though, without any success. On July 14th, the police officially announced Dinkins as a person of interest in the case but not yet a suspect. He was currently in custody for an unrelated sex offense charge. This helped intensify the investigation though, since Dinkins was believed to have connections in other Iowa areas, such as Comanche and Clinton County. The scope of the search was thus extended to those places. By the 20th of July, support from the community was pouring in. More volunteers came forward to join the search efforts, but much to everyone's confusion, the authorities called off the entire operation. And then no substantial developments happened in the case for the next several months. Then came December 4th, 2020. The missing girl had turned 11 years old and to commemorate the occasion, the FBI posted a call for information that could lead to the finding of Brezia. The Bureau offered a hefty amount of $10,000 as a reward, but still no one came forward. On March 22, 2021, there came a report about a group of fishermen who stumbled upon human remains near DeWitt, a remote town in Clinton County. Everyone held their breath in the following days as authorities announced that they had been working to identify those remains. A week later, what everyone feared the most became a reality. Davenport PD Chief Paul Sikorsky finally announced during a press conference that they had confirmed the identity of the remains, and they were of Brezia Terrell. Sikorsky added that at this point the investigation had shifted from a mere search for a missing child to a homicide case. In the midst of the pressure from the public, Davenport police remain adamant on keeping the autopsy's findings regarding the cause and manner of her death, the reason being that they want to maintain the integrity of the ongoing investigation. At this point, local and federal authorities have continued to ask for tips from the community that could lead to the closure of the case and the arrest of the perpetrator. Number 2. Philadelphia's Woman's Remains Found in 1977 Finally Identified In June of 1977, police received a report from an unnamed teenager who happened to be biking on his way back home along a wooded area of Townsend, Delaware. 
The information led them to the discovery of a dead woman whose age at the time was estimated to be between 40 and 55 years old. She had dark blonde hair and stood around 5 feet 3 inches tall. Although not fully disclosed, the records have indicated that the deceased was a victim of a homicide. Detectives scoured the area for clues. Back then, forensic identification of human remains heavily relied only on fingerprints and dental records. With no other options available, police were unable to identify the woman found dead in the ditch. The case was soon placed on the back burner. Meanwhile, around 65 miles from the aforementioned crime scene, there lived the family of William Heiser Sr., his wife, Mary Heiser, and their two children. Heiser Sr. was once a member of the Philadelphia Police Department's Highway Patrol during the 1950s and early 60s. This particular group of law enforcers was known for performing thrill shows for the public. Heiser Sr. had to leave the police force after he got injured while rehearsing for one of these shows. He later on went and worked as a truck driver. One day, Heiser Sr. told his kids that their mother had packed her bags and left their home in Philadelphia. She left no information on where she had gone and the kids, as young as they were, were given no further explanation. The family, minus their mother, went on with their lives. Heiser Sr., meanwhile, didn't bother to file a missing persons report. Time passed. Heiser relocated to South Daytona Beach, Florida in the 1970s. He subsequently died there in 2006 from cancer. The children grew up and went on to have families of their own. Now 68 years old, Heiser Jr. said in later interviews that he thought their parents merely had a fallout. But it was especially painful for him and his sister that their mother didn't even bother to contact either of them. The reason was apparently quite tragic. In March of 2021, news broke out that the woman found murdered in a ditch in the Townsend area was finally identified. As confirmed by the Newcastle County PD in Delaware, the victim was none other than Marie Heiser. The news obviously shocked Heiser Jr. and his sister, who never expected to hear from their mother in such a tragic way. It took a long time to tie the identity of the unknown individual to Mrs. Heiser. In 2008, more than three decades since the body was discovered, investigators decided to extract a DNA profile from the remains. They entered that data into a national database, but it failed to make a match. Ten years later, they sent the sample to Parabon Nano Labs, a company in Virginia that specializes in DNA phenotyping for law enforcement organizations. A resident forensic artist used the sample given to create a sketch of the victim, and they also mapped a potential family tree. In 2019, investigative efforts further intensified. Forensic experts began to look at the ancestry line of the victim the results of which provided Newcastle County Police with leads. This was when Heiser Jr. got a call from an investigator who asked him for a DNA sample. A few weeks after the test was done, the same officer called him to confirm that the woman's profile matched exactly with his, and so the question on why they hadn't heard anything from their mother for so long was finally answered. However, this discovery led to more questions. And the most obvious was, who killed Marie Heiser, the homemaker from Pennsylvania? As soon as the result came out, Newcastle PD detectives looked into the possible involvement of the estranged husband, despite his death. Their son, however, maintained that he couldn't possibly imagine their dad having anything to do with their mother's death. He would be the last person that would ever hurt anybody, said Heiser Jr., who followed his father's footsteps into law enforcement service. He himself is now retired from the Volusia County Sheriff's Department in Florida. 
He went on to say he was a saint, took care of his family, never raised his voice or hands or argued or anything. As of now, the case regarding Marie's murder remains open. Meanwhile, the police are calling the public for any information regarding the matter. So there were two of the most strange and mysterious stories around. The world can be a crazy place and twisted news is always sure to show you why. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. We have new videos coming out every single week and check out our Patreon page if you're looking for more creepy videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.